Right, so we're back here with a another battery. We've got a Wheeze Wise. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. W e i z e. It's a lithium iron phosphate. It claims to be 18 amp hours at 12.8 volts. We're going to discharge this at about oh, 3.6 amps because that's about 20% of the battery. <clears throat> this is a pretty cheap Amazon one. It doesn't come with a cable or anything. Um, it has the terminal posts, but it did not have protective caps. It was just the bare like that, the bare screws and stuff. Some of these come with protective caps, some of them don't. This brand seems to be too cheap to do that. But yeah, it's uh, got a standard max charge of 5 amps and 20 amps. And I charged this thing and it, it took the charge fine. It was pretty empty though when it came. I did not test the voltage before I charged it, but with my charger that should have charged it in like two and a half, three hours, it, it, it took about four hours. So yeah, I was it was pretty flat when it came. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna do this here with the CBA like last time. I'll get a good graphic up when it's done. Let's go ahead and start it though. <clears throat> Pardon my voice, it's early in the morning. So right away, we're seeing the voltage is about, what, 13-ish, a little over 13. It's dropping pretty quick here. Let's see if it levels out. And then we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll let this test run. Yeah, we're at 13.16, 13.15. Remember, this is only, you know, rated at 12.8 volts, so... 1313 <clears throat> again I'm sorry about the voice the allergies are pretty bad in the mornings so it's still still dripping 1311 I will say you know this plastic seems super brittle and cheap um, other than that there's like nothing that really stands out about the battery it's just like a super cheap plastic housing, 13.09. Um, if you guys are thinking about buying one of these and you do have the money, let me get a little light on it here, sorry. Uh, I really do love this thing. Um, testing battery so far, it has not gotten hot despite it saying caution hot, which means the fan's keeping up. Mind you, I'm only drawing these batteries at about 20%. So it's it's... I haven't done anything big yet. If I had a 50 amp hour or 100 amp hour, it might be a different story. But yeah, okay, we seem to be leveling out here at about 13.08. So I'll let this run and we'll come back when it's done and I'll give you a nice little graphic overlay so you can see all the numbers and stuff. All right. All right, so we've run the test now <clears throat> in 291.48 minutes. The test completed at 17.487 amp hours. This is an 18 amp hour battery and we're getting not even 17 and a half. That's less than ideal. Usually these things are a little over the amp hours. What's worse is probably at about 17 amp hours, the voltage just dropped off like it, 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 it was down to about 11.28 volts when the uh, presumably battery management system, if it has one, which I don't think it advertised as having one, caused it to drop off. So it's at 97.2% of the reported or purported amp hours. And again, at about 17 amp hours, the voltage just free did a free fall we're going from about 12 volts to what what did i say 11 volts not a battery i'd buy again um yeah it's definitely a cheap battery you know you get what you pay for in this case especially you're not getting the amp hours and really 16 and a half 17 amp hours is about all you're getting at 12 volts. I think it was already below 12.8 volts 
well before that as well. It looks like at about 16 amp hours, it was down to 12 and a half volts. So yeah, <laughs> maybe stay away from this W-E-I-Z-E -E battery ways wise. Do not recommend this battery.